Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Jessica and I will be doing my March setup in my bullet journal. Sorry this video is a little late. I did not think I would be posting it, but then I decided I was changing things up and I wanted to show you. So to start off, I have um, my cover page for the month and I'm doing a green background with a hibiscus flower in the center. And you could probably say this is a little like summery or springy, but um, it's been winter here. I'm so ready for spring and I have a hibiscus tree in my sunroom that is in full blossom right now and it looks so beautiful. So I wanted to incorporate one of the flowers. been practicing my brush lettering so I took my fine tech pearl colors in gold and wrote the month of March out which I thought looked pretty good Then I wrote out a little March calendar at the bottom and I accidentally put two S's at the end because when I do my weekly spreads, I do it Monday through Sunday. But when I do my monthly, I like to have like a regular Sunday start. So on the other side, I wanted to keep some of the same things but switch it up a bit. I got a little bored and wanted to add a little bit of like decorations to that page. So I kept my important dates and goals for the month and I also kept my bills that I have to pay and I wanted to draw these boxes around them. And I added some four-leaf clovers in the empty spaces um, for St. Patrick's Day. In my important dates, I put anything that I need to transfer over to my weekly spreads as I complete them and any holidays during that month. And here I'm just doing a little bit of a shadow around the edge of the boxes to make it look a little bit 3D. And some of my goals this month that you don't see me write down, but I want to try to walk every day with my husband for a little bit and uh, practice more of my brush lettering. And here I just wanted to do um, the four leaf clovers in a little bit of a brighter green color that I didn't have in the pastel set. So I brought out my Sheen Han watercolor set and did a couple clovers and some dots just to fill in the page a bit. So next spread I do is the Mood Mandala. And I started this in February and I really liked it. Um, I was able to track my headaches and my bad days. It gives me an overall sense of how that month went for me. And I'll insert a picture here of my completed February mandala. And it was a lot of fun creating the mandala part. It definitely took more time than I thought it would. And it's nice to see um, at the end of the year how many different designs I'll have. I kept all the same colors, but I just changed them around as far as um, what they are going to represent for me. Then this next spread definitely changed. Um, I used to do my YouTube channel watch time and the revenue, but since the YouTube Partner Program changed, I no longer am monetized, so I got rid of the revenue tracker and just kept my watch time in minutes because that is something 
I want to see and hopefully, you know, see it increase as people watch my videos. And underneath that, I added something new. It's um, titled Acorns, and it's actually an app on my phone that has to do with the stock market. So I'm just testing that out for a couple months and seeing if I like it or not, and I want to track um, if I'm earning or losing money there. So, And then underneath, I have just some boxes to track um, my walking because I said um, previously that one of my goals for the month of March is to walk every day despite the weather and then on the other side I kept my um, money tracker and it's something that really helps me it's easy to keep track of um, how much I'm spending and what I'm spending my things on so the next month I can make I can easily make adjustments on that and here I'm just going in and filling it in with some color. And then I move on to my first weekly spread and I'm changing it up a little bit this month. So on the left, I still have the week um, laid out by the days and this time, I did two different fonts. I got rid of my banners because I felt like they were taking up some room. And so the first three days are February and the difference in the numbers shows when it changes to March. And then I just drew out lines to separate the days so they didn't get uh, mixed into each other. And then over on the right side, I actually got rid of my um, weekly dinner tracker or plan or whatever and I changed it out for a step counter because of I'm trying to walk every day I want to actually break it down and see how many steps I'm walking and I have the Apple iPhone so it tracks that for me and so I'm just gonna log those in each day uh, next to that I drew um, a little like 3D sticky note peeling up kind of thing and that's actually my video to-do list for the week. I actually didn't write the tasks down but it's going to be the same as I've always had which is um, film, edit, voiceover, thumbnail, upload, and then Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at the bottom. So I'm just really bad at remembering to promote my videos. And then at the bottom I have the same to-do section where I can write my to-do list for the week. So here is a flip through of everything I completed in this video. Please click that like button if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to help support my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!